Hi everyone, today I'm sharing my holiday essentials with you. So let's discuss a little bit of pre-holiday prep. I personally start getting ready for my holiday like a good few days before we go. I never get a real tan anymore because I always have lots of sun lotion on and I cover up. But I am a light skinned girl and I do like to have a bit of a glow. And the first step in my body tanning routine is always exfoliation. So important. I've used so many scrubs and honestly my favourite way to do it is with these super cheap, you can buy them anywhere, exfoliating gloves. And you can just use your regular shower gel with them and they work a treat. Even if you don't tan, this is amazing to do because it's going to reveal fresh, glowing, healthy skin. So once my skin is all prepped and exfoliated, I do put on a layer of fake tan one to two days before I go away. The tan I'm using at the moment is the Dr Organic Moroccan Glow Self Tan Mousse. A lot of the ingredients are natural, it is much gentler and kinder to the skin than a lot of other tans. It's not drying at all on my skin and it is vegan and cruelty free. It never feels sticky, it dries really quickly, I've not noticed any transfer. The only thing that I dislike about it is it's white, so I wouldn't recommend this for beginners. So you can't see where you've put it, that's my only negative and I know for some people that's going to be a deal breaker. But for me, I love the formula and I love that it's vegan, so I will continue to use this. It gives a really nice colour. This is medium and more than enough colour I need for my skin. Whereas if you do have a more olive complexion and you want to tan, or if you love that super bronzed, like you've been in Barbados for a month look, then they do have a darker version as well. And on the other end of the spectrum, they do have a light. I had to share my tanning mitt as well that I've been using with it and you think like a tanning mitt is a tanning mitt but this one is the best one I've used. This is the Sunkissed one and this is from Primark but I think you can also get it in body care. So cheap but this genius little thing has like a plastic inner lining which is so simple but so genius. I don't know why other tanning mitts don't have this, but I read on the packet that this is actually patented now to this brand. So you should definitely go and pick up a few of these if you tan regularly. This keeps your hand completely dry. Your hands are completely tan free once you take them out. So you can just put as little or as much tan on your actual hands as you want and it's not going to soak through and stain them anyway while you're tanning the rest of your body. This is a complete personal preference. I would never say to anyone that they have to remove any hair on any part of the body. It's completely up to you. I personally prefer to shave. I do enjoy a Brazilian wax, I'm not going to lie, but those things are expensive because they're very specialist. I've just been using a regular razor at home. And with shaving comes the annoying issue of ingrown hairs. After I've shaved, I always use this Cool Fix Targeted Gel Lotion and I've had this tiny little bottle for like a year and I use it several times a week every single time I shave my bikini line and it works. It works so well. I've never had an ingrown hair since using this. On my face this summer, I've been using the Soap and Glory Make Yourself Youthful Sun Shield Super Fluid. This is a blogger favourite and I can definitely see why. It's really lightweight, it goes perfect under makeup, it doesn't feel greasy, it sets, it's not too greasy or oily throughout the day. When there's formulas like this that are so easy to apply and so nice to wear, there's really no excuse to wear a high SPF. And don't forget about your lips. Your lip balm needs to have SPF in as well. I'm not really fussy to one brand. This is Blistex. I also use Carmex. I've not found, to be honest, I've not found an amazing lip balm that has SPF in. If you've used a really good lip balm that has SPF, preferably a natural one because I don't love kind of Vaseline 
petroleum based lip balms but if you know a really good natural one with SPF please let me know because I will definitely check it out. This is my sun hat, this is from ASOS. No one ever wears these anymore I feel like. Whenever I go on holiday I'm like the only person wearing one but I personally love them. I think once you've got like big sunglasses on and like a nice little jumpsuit or a little dress or anything I think they actually look quite cute. They cover your whole head and they also cover you if like a lot of people you don't put enough sun cream around these areas like the back of your neck and your ears and everything. Another thing I love to cover up with is my kimono and you will have seen this in a couple of videos. It's just a real pretty light thing to throw on when it's too hot to wear a jacket but you want to cover up your shoulders. And finally I wanted to mention my favourite shoes for holidays and this is mainly for the holidays where you're exploring because you'll probably be doing a lot of walking especially if you're staying in a big city and I wore my black Converse every single day and I wore these all day and in my opinion they're one of the most comfortable pairs of shoes you could wear. They're so well made and because it's a canvas material it's very light. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and let me know what your holiday essentials are in the comments down below. I'd love to read your recommendations. If you're new please subscribe. I post Wednesday, Friday and Sunday a new beauty and lifestyle video three times a week. I will have all my social media links below so follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, I'm on pretty much everything so I will chat to you on there and I will see you in my next video. Bye!